Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm back. It's been a little bit. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much, even though I missed you guys a lot. It is currently 12.49 in the afternoon. I've been up for quite a while. I've just been doing a lot of stuff on my computer, like answering emails and planning the feed for EP and doing some editing that I just didn't get up and really get ready for my day. So that's why I'm here now getting ready and I figured this would be the perfect time to chat with you guys and intro this vlog. I always like to start the vlogs here while I'm getting ready because I feel like it's the perfect time to chat with you guys and talk about what I've been up to and what is in store for my day. Once I leave my room and head in the car, I feel like my entire day is just go, 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 and I have no time to like sit and chat. So that's why I feel like all the vlogs start in the same spot, but it works. So that's just what we're gonna keep doing. I'm going in with the day styling cream. This stuff smells so good. And ever since I got it, I have been using it for all of my slick backs. This is just like a rough draft slick back. I'm gonna re-put it up and smooth it all out very shortly. I actually have to get on a meeting in literally a minute. Hello. Hey, Sam. How are you guys? Okay, so it's been an hour. I just got off of that little call. It went well. That was to go over the ad performance from last month and EP jewels and what we have planned for the following month. For the past two months, we have experimented with ads and boosting out content for EP jewels and for all of the new launches that we have. So it's been all such new and exciting stuff and also meetings and appointments to help set up the operations and the entire systems and back end of the EP jewels warehouse. We have officially started the process of barcoding all of our inventory and it's something that we never did because obviously when you start a business you don't really know all of the things that you need to do and all of the different processes and things that go into having inventory and a warehouse and all of that. So it is a lot, it's been a lot of work recently, but it's all going to be worth it in the end because we will be able to count all of our inventory much more easily and just track everything better. Processing returns and exchanges will be a hell of a lot easier. Even fulfilling orders and having like the handheld to scan barcodes and bins with locations for each specific type of product. All of this might sound like gibberish to you guys, but it's the reality of having a business and operating one in the most efficient and effective way possible. So that is a lot of what me and my team have been doing behind the scenes that I haven't really been able to share, but also just stuff that I don't think you guys would wanna see because it can be very boring and you have to pay a lot of attention to all of the things that go on in these meetings. So anyway, I don't even know how I got that started, but running ads has kind of gone hand in hand with the whole operations and warehouse side of things because if an ad performs really well or a video on TikTok goes viral from a customer or an influencer or anybody for that matter and we get an overflow of orders, we need to have the systems in place to fulfill all of the orders in a timely manner as well as making sure that nothing is messed up, no orders are lost. So everything just needs to have structure and kind of like if you think of a conveyor belt type of manufacturing system it starts here then it goes to here then it goes to here and then it goes to the post office and gets shipped off so all of these different steps are now going to be in place when filling orders for ep jewels and all the stuff that i just mentioned are things that you guys would never even really know about or 
know that we're doing behind the scenes because it's all done behind the scenes and in the whole fulfilling process of our warehouse. So that's why I haven't really shared much of it with you guys and also why I have been so incredibly busy. Also, we are completely redesigning the website and I'm so excited about it. I've had a handful of meetings with our web developer and getting everything ready to go. I'm so excited about this redesign and it is literally my dream website. What I have always hoped for with EP and the website and the whole shopping experience. So I'm super excited for you guys to see all of that and to be able to browse the website and see all of the fun interactive features that it will now have. Did I tell you guys that I was in Ireland for St. Patty's Day this past weekend? I don't know if I did, but I went and spent this past weekend in Dublin. My boyfriend MQ is traveling abroad this semester in Barcelona, which if you guys have been following me then you already know that because a few weeks ago I visited him in Barcelona and then we traveled together to Paris for Valentine's Day. So that was super fun. And so this past weekend was his 21st birthday and also St. Patty's Day. So we spent it in Dublin. It was crazy packed there as I'm sure you guys could imagine because St. Patty's Day is a huge holiday. It was a ton of fun. His dad and brother also surprised him and met us on the trip, which I obviously knew about because I had to help plan the surprise and make sure that they knew where we were gonna be and where they were gonna walk in when the surprise happened. And MQ was so shocked, he was not expecting it and it was just amazing. I absolutely love surprises. We did the Guinness Storehouse experience and we also did the Jameson whiskey tour and we explored so much of Dublin, walked literally everywhere, had amazing dinners and amazing lunches. We went to I don't even know how many pubs. We had so much fun that I came home with a sinus infection. I went straight from the airport to urgent care because I just knew that I had to get some sort of antibiotic to cure me and I have now been on antibiotic for three days. I'm feeling a lot better, although I don't sound better at all. Today is the first day since I came home that I am actually going to leave the house and that I'm getting ready right now. So that's an accomplishment in and of itself. My hair is done. It's the best it's gonna look. My hair is pretty clean. And if you guys know anything about slick backs, doing a slick back on clean hair is one of the hardest things because your hair is just so clean that it doesn't want to go where you want it to go. It just kind of has a mind of its own and it took me a lot longer than I would have liked it to. I put it in a bun because my ponytail is way too frizzy and I don't want to blow it out. I got invited to a Makeup by Mario event and I actually met Mario there and it was one of my favorite events that I have ever been to. I had so much fun. The entire event was just so well executed. Everything was beautiful and the event was for the launch of the Master Mats Neutral Palette which is right here and the place setting for the dinner had our names engraved on the palette which was the most beautiful touch and so perfect. But aside from the event, I have a full face of Makeup by Mario. The products in here are just beautiful. Like everything that you would ever want, Makeup by Mario, is in this bag. So I want to head to my dad's now to film a full face of Makeup by Mario. This is not sponsored at all. I'm just so grateful that they sent me all of these amazing products. On top of that, I have been wanting to try these products. I haven't gotten ready in a while and I'm just so excited to leave the house and finally not be cooped up in my room. So I think today's the perfect day to film this video. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda for the day. I also have some ad content that I need to edit and get sent over. That was part of what the meeting was about. And I have four ads due tonight because they need to go live tomorrow since our Easter sale is starting tomorrow at noon. My cuticles have been going through it and I've recently been started using this locked in cuticle oil and oh my goodness, has it completely transformed my cuticles. Like, are you seeing how shiny and luscious and just lovely they look? My nails are a bit grown in, but you can definitely tell how nice and hydrated and moisturized. I didn't put a jacket on and I'm freezing. Like actually so cold, but we made it in the car. Now let's head to my dad's. It is 2.45, I have a meeting at three, but it'll only run till like 3.15. So I think that I'll probably still be in the car for it. 
and yeah i'll see you guys once i'm there all safe and sound and then we'll be ready to film this full face of makeup by mario which i'm so excited about let's turn my ass seat on and hit the road here are all of the makeup by mario products laid out and ready to be used I'm so excited to dip into all of these. The only products here that I've ever tried is the cream bronzer, one shade of the lip liner, this Master Mattes Neutrals palette, and the concealer as well. But the rest, I have never tried. I have my setup right here. I just stick my phone to the mirror with a light. Here is the finished makeup look. I will overlay the entire Get Ready With Me and full face of Makeup by Mario right here so you guys can watch it. the way that my makeup turned out. It is now time to share with you guys the entire unboxing from all the stuff that I got when I was in Europe. These are the most perfect pair of black boots I have ever seen. Can you guys see? Obviously not with this outfit. I'm obsessed and I don't want to take them off. So that's the first thing I got. Then I ended up going to the Chanel on Rue Cambone. Shut up. Shut up right now. These are the pink sequence slingbacks. I ended up getting the flat version, which I think I will wear so much more. They're just perfect. And spring, summer, even in the winter and fall, I will be bringing these out. The shimmer and shine of the pink sequins. Next up, I went to Bottega and I got something that I have been wanting for a minute. No, I'm obsessed with her. Here she is in her glory, looking beautiful as ever. Usually I'm like a hot pink girl, but there's something about this ballerina slipper, ballet slipper, baby pink. Throw it in any bag, no matter the size. It's so nice and thin, so it doesn't take up much space at all, and it's just perfect. For the last thing that I got this past weekend when I was in Dublin, I went to a luxury consignment store called Designer Exchange. They have such beautiful pieces there, and I ended up getting something from Louis Vuitton. This is something that I feel like I just needed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she is a travel makeup slash jewelry case with a double zipper. This is technically for makeup, but I most definitely can improvise and use her for jewelry, which if you guys know, I always travel with tons of. This is just something that I figured would only be right to add to my collection. Like I'm literally obsessed with these boots and I don't want to take them off. Here's a little overview of the things that I got. I am, again, so happy with everything and I can't wait to wear and style all of these pieces very soon. I'm now gonna get all of my stuff together and head back over to my mom's. Just got home and my mom is whipping up some Swiss chard, which smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell through to this camera right now. And this is gonna turn down and condense to the tiniest little bit. This is just for me and her, but it will last us for lunch tomorrow as well. And this is just one of our favorites. It's so flavorful. She puts a little bit of chicken bouillon in it, some olive oil, salt, pepper, and this is what the Swiss chard is looking like. We're also gonna have some quinoa. We don't have a measuring cup, so we're using the wine glass. So pretty. The measurement. Quinoa has recently been our favorite substitute to rice and pasta, and especially with the Swiss chard, and even like a little spoonful of hummus plated together is amazing and i highly recommend this meal i'm gonna cover it let it come to a boil then put it on simmer until all of the water is absorbed while that quinoa comes to a boil my mom is gonna keep an eye on it and i'm gonna head in the shower wash off this full face 
and get in a nice little pajama set and get ready for the night. It is 8.32. We typically eat dinner a little bit earlier than this. And then we're going to watch an episode of The Sopranos, which is the show that we have recently been binging. And oh my goodness, are we obsessed? I can't believe it's taken us this long to sit down and commit to watching it. It is one of my new favorite shows and I just can't get enough of it. I wish I could just sit on the couch and watch it all day and night long, it's that good. My mom and I invested in this business course and one of the requirements is to read this book and do a book report. So we downloaded the Audible, it's eight hours in total and we have three hours left to go. So we've been doing an hour every other night until we finish it. So we're gonna do an hour tonight as well. It's been super informative. And this is actually our first business book that we are ever reading. And we have learned so much in the first five hours that we've listened to. And I think that reading this book and learning a lot about the business world just unlocked a whole nother hobby of ours because I know at least myself, I want to read a lot more business related books to learn a lot more, hear firsthand of other entrepreneurs. And you just learn a lot by hearing from other people experiences and I find it all so super fascinating. So let's just say this is the first book of many to come. It feels so nice to take off all the makeup and have a fresh bare face. I used the road cleanser to take off my makeup and I've been using it for the past two months or ever since it launched and I absolutely love it. I don't think I will ever be able to take off my makeup without it. My skin just feels so squeaky clean. I mean, look at how glowy it is. And then I use the Rode Glazing Milk. I genuinely love all Rode products. I use them on a daily basis and I mean, my skin just speaks for itself right now. It is glowing and looks so hydrated. My bed just looks so lovely right now and I can't wait to relax and start editing all of the content that I just filmed at my dad's. Here is one of my favorite views ever, a full pajama set draw and trying to decide which one I want to wear for the night. I also have some more down here. I honestly love this one. It is so soft and comfy. Here we are. Oh my goodness, how yum does that look? My mom and I are watching Sopranos and we got Cold Stone yesterday and didn't eat it. So we just got it out of the freezer and are going to enjoy this and finish this episode of The Sopranos. Things are getting intense, so we're gonna go. <laughs> this show is so good. bed. It's 12.30. We stopped midway into the episode because it's just getting way too late. Aquaphor on the lips. Locked in cuticle oil yet again because my cuticles love this stuff. And then I go in with this locked in almond hand cream. I put a little bit on the back of my hand blend it all out. There's something about having dry hands on sheets that like irks me so I always need to make sure my hands are super hydrated and moisturized before bed. I have my humidifier on as well as my air purifier. It's like a two-in-one. It's from Canopy and it is so good. My phone is plugged in and I put it on Do Not Disturb. Hey, you guys, look who I'm with. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. What are you doing? Yeah. Bianca's recording. My mom wants me to cut a little bit of her hair. I've never done this before. And I'm just gonna cut this whole thing right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, straight from here across. Okay, are you sure I shouldn't rewet yes. it? You can wet it. I don't think you should be holding it in a ponytail. I think you should let go. Oh, mom. <gasps> Mira. You think for a second you're gonna make it straight? <laughs> but now it's like a blunt cut. Good, I like it. It's actually good. I know. I mean, I'd say. Que bella, Bianca. Que bella, tu. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, you 
guys, it's been a few days. Yesterday, my mom and I spent our entire Sunday at the mall. Literally from 2 p.m. until closing, we were at the mall doing shopping that we didn't anticipate doing, but we had some random occasions that needed shopping for, and then we just decided to take it upon ourselves and go in all of our favorite stores and get probably way more than we needed, but we deserve it, or at least we like to think we do. So we got a lot of stuff. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of stuff. So I wanna give you guys a full haul of everything we got. Also, I did a ton of online shopping this past weekend because Jordan and I booked a fun little vacation getaway and we are so excited about it. It is long overdue and we just really want to be in the warm weather on a beach somewhere. Let's run through all the stuff that I got, starting with Nordstrom. They have a House of CB section, which is news to me, but I love House of CB. Every time I've been to California, I always stop in the store and I shop online from them as well. So when I found out they have a little section at my local Nordstrom, I ran. And I have a very fun black tie event to go to this week. And I didn't have any dresses or options for what to wear to this event. So I ordered some online that came in and I tried on. And I also found this one in store. This is so beautiful. It kind of looks like a two-piece, like a corset. It's super flattering and cinches. It's like a faux leather top. And then the bottom is kind of like a linen and it goes down to a pencil skirt. And then there's a slit right behind the leg in the back. And then we obviously went into Aritzia and I ended up getting more things than, again, I anticipated. But all these pieces are just such basics and pieces that I can have in my wardrobe forever, pretty much. I got this beautiful formal type of business suit top. It's strapless and it is so beautiful on. It hugs and cinches in the perfect areas. This with a pair of dress pants or even jeans in the summer, I think is beautiful. And going along with the business suit, dressy, formal type of vibe. I got a gray vest that is also so flattering and beautiful on. I just love anything super dressy like this because I feel like a lot of what I wear is super casual and I don't have pieces like this in my wardrobe to even style and make an outfit off of. So I feel like having these very neutral basic pieces are super reliable when it comes to creating an outfit for any occasion, any location, any event. So this will definitely be put to great use and I love her. I got the trouser dress pants that match. They are just straight leg, so, so pretty on. I love the waist because it's kind of like a seamless band. And going along with those pants, I got the same ones in black just because of how flattering and pretty they are on. I figured you can't go wrong with the black pair. These are the Markova pant in ankle length, mid-rise, straight leg, and I get a size two for reference. Then we went to Neiman Marcus and got two pairs of Chanel shoes, purchases that we didn't expect to make, but when it comes to Chanel, they just knock us off our feet and we fell in love. The bag literally broke. And I recently just got two pairs of Chanel shoes. So these are technically for my mom because she was on the hunt for an everyday classy type of shoe that she can wear on the daily, especially now that spring and summer are rolling around. But since we're the same size and we share shoes, these could be for me too. So <laughs> therefore I will show you guys because they are just so beautiful and how could I not? The bigger box because the bigger the better. Although actually usually when the box is smaller, it's better. But in this case, the bigger box is better. Mom, these shoes are beautiful. Really? I just like forgot what they looked like because we got these yesterday and it's a new day. See? Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Right? Love. Like, are you guys seeing how freaking beautiful these loafers are? This is the first pair that she got. And now moving on to the second pair. Oh yes. These are just a must-have. If you guys scroll on Pinterest, then you know the classic Chanel ballerina flat, especially in this two-tone, the black tip with the beige body. 
I freaking love these. This colorway with denim looks amazing with a trouser pant, with a dress pant, with a dress or even a skirt, literally anything, these shoes are beautiful. And initially we were trying to decide between one, but then I figured why not just get both. These are the two Chanel shoes that we got. Next up, we went to Zara. We were mainly going in to shop for my mom. We went there, I think at 6.45 and the mall closes at 7. So we had no time to try anything on. And we were just kind of going throughout the racks, grabbing stuff. And what my mom and I do is we buy whatever we think looks right because we know our sizes in Zara by now. We'll come home, try everything on, and then obviously make a bag of returns for whatever doesn't fit. But majority of the time, a lot of it we do end up loving. And it's like home is our fitting room and then we just go back and return stuff. So that's what we did, mainly because we didn't have time. Usually we just go in the fitting rooms. This is like what we did during COVID before the fitting rooms were open. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So we ended up doing that where we bought so much stuff and then now we have a whole bag of returns to make, but this is what I'm going to be keeping. So starting off, I actually got two matching dresses for Alexia and Bianca, which are the cutest. I can't wait to put them in these matching little sets with their hair in cute little pigtails or ponytails. And then I got these beautiful, very cute pair of, they're actually considered pajama pants, but they're white with blue stripes and they're like a linen-y type of, I don't even know what kind of material this is. It's almost like a wrinkled fabric and they're like a boxer look, which is super in right now. If you guys are scrolling Pinterest these days, you would see tons of people wearing boxer pants like this with a bikini top or just a tank top and a denim jacket and some boots or loafers or literally anything. So I saw these, fell in love. I do need to get them hemmed because they are drowning on me. I am 5'3", so these are very, very long. But aside from that, they fit amazing and I love them. And lastly, I got this skirt, which I think is super cute. It kind of reminds me of the Triangle swimwear brand. They have like cover-up shorts that are similar in this striped pattern, but this could be worn as a cover-up or to even like a dinner or like a dressier lunch. I feel like these are super cute, just with like a plain white tee like this and I don't know, some loafers or ballerina flats. That's everything that I got. We mainly went in to shop for my mom, so I was helping her and pretty much just scouring the racks with her for stuff for her for a trip that she's going on this week. Now for two online purchases that just arrived yesterday. These are two that I'm super excited about. You guys will know what they are once I open them. I caved and got the Tank Air tank top that has been all over TikTok. Oh my God. Guys, this is like the tank top of all tank tops. Warning you, if you don't already know about this, it is like $96, including tax and shipping. The way it makes your body look from what I've seen online, it gives your boobs a lift without having to wear a bra. It cinches your waist. I got this in a double extra small because they say to go a little bit smaller to give that super tight and cinched look. I live in tank tops when getting ready. I'm wearing one right now. Lastly, ooh, I am so excited about this. I am so obsessed with this. It's a reverse crew neck with park patching letters right over the chest. I love her sweatshirts, her sweatpants, even her tank tops, and I want to get the boxer pants as well for the summer. Everything that she makes and designs is so beautiful. And the next thing I got is also from her cozy launch. Oh my God, I love this. It is a fleece quarter button pullover and I love it. This is amazing. I can't wait to wear this and I'm super excited about it. So that is everything that I got yesterday and the two online purchases that were delivered. I think my mom and I did good, I'd say. And yeah, it's now time to go get our nails done because like I said, I have this black tie event on Wednesday and I still have my nails from St. Patty's Day. So it is time to get off the screen, go with a more neutral, classy color. Here is the aftermath of doing that haul for you guys. So I need to clean this up and then head on out because I don't want to be late, but I can't leave this mess here because I don't want to have to worry about it when I get home. Mm -hmm. 